Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going through Act 6.4, quest number two. And as with the other video, I'm gonna be using primarily Ghost. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the path that I think is the easiest. It's this one right here, uh, starting with the Domino. Uh, you've got long distance relationship, aggression, precision, and God Slayer. Uh, basically, don't get hit and be aggressive. So the little tricky thing with long distance relationship is that the closer you are to them, the more weakness debuffs you get, which reduces your damage. So if you're aggressive, which you want to be, then you're going to be doing less damage. So you have to find that balance. You want to be aggressive, but also back off sometimes to allow the weakness debuffs to wear off. Now, most of the fights on this path are pretty straightforward. This fight was the one that I was mostly concerned with. But since it's the first fight, you don't have to worry too much if uh, you don't do well against her then just reset it. Uh, there's no reason to keep pushing on ahead. She's the first fight. Domino is annoying at the best of times. You see how she's playing coy right here. I'm trying to bait out that special and all she's doing is backing off. And the other bad thing about her backing off like this is the aggression precision. If she hit me with that, I would pretty much be dead. All right, now you can see she's stacked up a lot of precision, so her crits are going to be insane. So I did not want to get hit by that domino. So the more you back off and she backs off, the more she's gonna stack those precision, which means she's gonna crit like crazy. It's gonna hurt a lot, okay? You don't want that to happen, but if you can play around it, Ghost, of course, as you saw, I wasn't getting hit anyway, but had I gotten hit, it would have been over. All right, so this next fight is against Angela. Angela is pretty straightforward to fight. Uh, you can see I'm doing the uh, one hit. I've gotten some stacks, but one other thing that I like about the uh, weakness debuffs that you get from long distance relationship is if you have the willpower mastery, you will actually heal from those debuffs. You'll notice that Ghost is at 100% health. Uh, yes, I didn't get hit, but uh, you will notice throughout that I'm going to be able to heal up from that. And even though I have a lot of stacks of weakness on me, she still hits pretty hard. Uh, those crits, still insane. Okay, so Ghost is a great option, but honestly, anyone can actually do this path. If you play well, don't get hit. You know, I say that a lot. Uh, I remember when I was first starting, uh, my alliance leader, I asked him for some advice on a fight that was really difficult for me, and his advice was don't get hit. And he wasn't the first one to say that, and I always thought that they were joking. But as my skills improved and I was able to actually not get hit, then I could see what they were talking about. Uh, at the time, my play style was I didn't evade very much at all. I took a lot of blocked hits, and so I took a lot of damage. But if you play in a way that you don't get hit and you don't take a lot of damage uh, from blocked hits, then you should do pretty well. So uh, if you don't have Ghost, then whoever you use, you want to be aggressive, but you also want to back off to let those weakness debuffs drop off. So don't be too aggressive, but don't be too passive. That's why it's a little, um, those two particular nodes are a little tricky. You know, the long distance relationship and the aggression, uh, aggression precision. Uh, because with that precision, you'd want to be very aggressive to keep that from stacking up. 
But then with long distance relationship, you don't want to stay close for too long or else you'll have the weakness debuff uh, stack up. So hit and run tactics work very well. And it really, you know, I'm trying to think of someone who would not do well, but in my opinion, this path, you can pretty much do with anyone. It's just playing around those nodes. You know, hit and run. Go in, attack, back off for a little bit, attack some more, just keep doing that, back and forth. All right, so this fight, we're fighting Blade. And Blade is uh, pretty straightforward to fight, but if you get caught by his special two, chances are you're gonna get wrecked. If you have not been aggressive in fighting him and he's built up the uh, precision, then it's not gonna be a good time for you. But as you can see here, um, we didn't have too much trouble with Blade and Ghost is still at pretty much full health, okay? So very easy path, can do it with anyone. Uh, next up, we've got Crossbones. Now Crossbones gave me a little bit of a pause and I decided to go ahead and give Ghost a rest. The reason why is because when Crossbones builds up those Furies, when he has any Fury stacks, he has a chance to reduce your abilities. Which means if he has enough uh, Furies, one time I would dash back and Ghost would not phase, or phase would fail. And I didn't want to deal with that. It's the same thing when I'm going up against Magneto with uh, Ghost or Domino with Ghost. You have to be very careful and you have to watch. Uh, when I was fighting Domino earlier, I was watching to be ready if I dashed back and she did not phase to then block or just dash back a second time. Uh, but with Crossbones, as long as he has at least one Fury, there is a chance that you would fail your phase. So I decided to go in with Omega Red. Now this Omega Red, he's my six star. I don't have a five star Omega Red. You can see that he is unawakened and I've actually taken him to rank two. Now, he doesn't need to be awakened if you are running suicide. Now, some people disagree with me on that, that's fine. Um, the reason why uh, you don't need to, in my opinion, is because when you're running suicides, you're going to start off with that death field. And you're going to be doing a lot of damage anyway. So like right here, you'll notice I don't have the death field active. I need to fire off a special two to activate it again. However, because I'm running suicides, I'm still hitting pretty decently. All right. Now, obviously, when he's awakened, so much better. I would love to awaken my six star uh, Omega Red. All right, so there you see I fired off the uh, special two, but now Crossbones has a special two of his own. And so we're trying to bait that out. We do not want to push him to a special three if we can help it. And that ran out my death field timer. The AI does that a lot. All right, they will play very passively until it runs out. Any beneficial effects or anything like that, it's very annoying. Uh, but here we go. He's almost down. And, you know, a longer fight than it would be with Ghost. But a safer one. Alright, so here we go. We've got that special 2 ready. And we baited out his special 1. Fire off that special 2. Boom. Okay. He's still not gone, but now I got my death field. And I can just go to work. And notice that the health of Omega Red is still good. The only reason that I'm not at full health right now is because I'm running suicides. I took that recoil damage. All right. Otherwise, it would have been awesome. He would have been full health. And what you saw me doing here, he ended the fight with full health. If you were wondering why 
I wasn't finishing off crossbones, it was to let him get full health. So you could see how that weakness debuff helps out quite a bit. And I was able to finish the fight with full health, even though I took that recall damage. All right, so the next fight up is Gambit. Gambit, very, very easy, very straightforward. Uh, his special attack one can be tricky to evade. Uh, a lot of times I won't try to evade it. Sometimes I'll try to evade it and I'll get caught and it is a guaranteed stun. Now, when he first came out, we were thinking that was a bug and it might be a bug that he had a guaranteed stun on his special one. Uh, even with that guaranteed special one, it gave him a little bit of utility, but it did not make Gambit, you know, a highly sought after champion. And we were hoping that they would not fix it and they didn't. So um, I believe they've changed the description now. So he does have guaranteed uh, stun on his special one, which spells bad news for you if you evade and fail. And he hits you with that special one, you'll be stunned. And depending on uh, how much health, I mean, how much uh, power he has, uh, he could stun lock you and take you out. So... Next up is Drax. Now, they changed Drax from when he used to be a great counter for, uh, and you can see there, I already messed up right off the bat uh, because I was already thinking that I needed to evade his double. And just look at that. He just wrecked me. Um, I was overthinking it. I was like, okay, he's going to do a double attack. So I need to remember to evade, you know, and wait, kind of like Domino, and just completely messed up. So that kind of got me tilted. And I said, all right, uh, let me just calm down, relax, fight with the hood. And a lot of people were asking me uh, why I took the hood to rank five. Uh, well, he is a good champion in his own right. And since I often quest with Ghost, I always bring the Hood and Wasp along with Ghost. Great synergy team there. Well, there's been a couple of times where the Hood saved me, but the fights were kind of long. And he was a rank four, and... I just wished at those times that I had him at rank five just to speed things up a little bit. And one level up, I decided to take him to rank five. Now, the only reason that I don't take Wasp to rank five is because I pulled her as a six star. So I usually bring the six star around. Maybe I'll take the six star up to rank two. Uh, that will happen before I ever ranked up the five star uh, so the five star is more than likely going to be ranked four for a while uh, but the rank uh, the six star may go to rank uh, rank two all right so we're getting this fight down uh, Drax is is getting down uh, you can see hood he's not having too much difficulty all right uh, I'm just having fun uh, firing off his specials even though I'm running suicides you can see that his health is not um, being hurt too much that's because of the stacks of um, weakness debuff and the willpower mastery so you can see I'm healing up right now uh, for quite a bit I'm already uh, at max health here but when I do get hurt uh, you'll see that sometimes I was healing. You can go back and see it. I was healing for like uh, 176 health. Uh, it's it's a great path to do your initial clear, which is why I chose it. All right, so down goes Drax. Give Ghost a little break. And I'm going to, you know, revive Ghost. I already knew that, but I wanted to just take a little break. All right, we've got plenty of refills thanks to Kabam. Uh, they've given us a refill a day uh, in the calendar. And I had some refills before. Um, I have some in my overflow now. 
It's beautiful. Uh, don't have any problems with energy uh, this month whatsoever. All right, so now we revived Ghost, like I said we would. And uh, if you'll recall the uh, fight with um, Iceman, that one was great. But you saw here, you know, I, I gave her a break because I was already tilted. And then that happened. I was not happy and I've already gone far enough in the path that there's no way I'm gonna restart. And I have plenty of revives uh, still in my overflow. And so now I'm mad. Now I'm, I'm actually upset. And I'm highly focused at this point because uh, I wasn't really all that focused before. So now I'm just like, no. Uh, what I had planned to do and why that happened uh, my normal play style is to be very aggressive. When I don't play that way, I run the risk of getting caught. And what I planned to do was to heal up. So I revive, and then during the fight, I was going to play keep away and play passively while I let the weakness debuffs stack up. You know, just go close enough, stack them up, back off and heal up that way. Pretty much what you see me doing here. But it didn't work that way. One of the times I tried to dash back to keep away instead of attacking, she pounced and caught me. And that really ticked me off. But you'll notice where my health is right now. Okay, this is what I was trying to do in the previous attempt. Uh, but yeah, I was playing mad because that, should not have happened just took my revive even though i have plenty of them i don't like losing all right so down goes rogue the way she should have in the uh last attempt all right so i think this that was it for the path i think that was our mini boss yeah so now we're gonna face thor ragnarok and i don't like him as an attacker and he's an annoying defender. All right, so you can see the nodes that we have to deal with. That combo shield, bad news. Uh, aspect of death, don't get hit. Don't push him uh, to a special three. Just relax. Prove yourself. Very annoying. Unblockable. This fight was made for Ghost. Or Quake. So I decided to go ahead and first try Omega Red. See if we could get a little bit off of him. All right, so you can see here, uh, in case you're not familiar with that node, you can see his specials are unblockable. But look at that black icon up there. Okay, while that icon is active, and you can see I just got wrecked just that quick. While that black icon is active, you cannot get touched. If he touches you, you're dead. So, literally, don't get touched, okay? So, after a special, there's a certain amount of time, I forget how long it is, um, but you can see when that icon is there that you don't want to get touched or else you will die. Ghost is beautiful with that. She doesn't get touched uh, if you're playing her right. So you can see here, we're getting up to the combo where we need to worry about it, all right, and there. Okay, we got the power gain, and then I took it away. Had to time that. When he gets to 20 on his um, combo meter, that's when he gets that power gain. All right, so you have to be careful about that, and you have to end it with a special, or you have to bait out his special and let it just, you know, expire on its own. All right, so here we go. We're sitting here. Did it again. Boom. Back off phase out the recoil, and we're doing fine, okay, until that happened. He caught me in the corner. I thought I was phased, wasn't phased, over with, okay? So I'm just like, wow. We were doing great. The fight was going well. So I decided to just give Ghost a rest. She's already died enough this quest. And so we're just gonna 
see how much damage we can do with Wasp. And that Prove Yourself is a node that I really hate a lot. Because if you get hit, you know, forget dying, even if you wait that out, if you get hit, you're gonna lose your combo and you're not gonna be doing any damage. You'll notice that no damage is done. I got lucky right there, by the way. Um, and see here, I don't have a special ready and I'm just having to bait it out. And I was able to bait out a special so he didn't get a special three. That's what you have to do if you mess up and don't uh, have a special ready. All right, so I've got my combo meter. We're good. I can do damage. Okay, I baited out that special two, and we're going in. All right, he, we just bait out those specials and don't get hit. Okay, um, I'm I'm trying to stay away from him because I know one hit and I'm dead. And Wasp, she's fragile anyway. All right, so I'm also looking at the combo meter. I want to try to time this, like right here. We hit him and we fire off the special. Boom, boom and we cancel it okay so i was trying to watch that and you know we're whittling him down okay and this is why i have no problem using wasp she does a lot of damage she is actually a really good champion and um we're just trying to bait her out bait him out uh wasp is a glass cannon so she does a lot of damage we can see that we're starting to get caught in the corner. So that's why we fired that off. All right, we don't wanna get him too close to his special two, which is why we baited out that special one again. And then here we go. Boom, he's stunned, but we can't really make use of that because if we did, we could easily push him to a special uh, three. So we instead backed off and now is business as usual. He's going down very slowly. My brain is starting to turn to mush. Uh, I'm already starting to lose focus. Uh, this is why I don't like long fights, but we're still going, we're still game. Okay, uh, we're still in it. And here we go, another special and boom, cancel it. All right, this time I did manage to hit him one time. All right, and then here, we would need to bait him out again. And we really need to bait him out twice uh, to get rid of uh, that special. Uh, fights like this, I really don't like them because they're designed for you to fight patiently. I don't fight patiently very well. I'm aggressive and I can't be as aggressive as I normally would be in this fight. And so uh, we're just whittling him down slowly. So there are many options for this guy. Uh, there's nothing too special about this fight. Uh, as long as you play it slow, like you see me playing here, you, you see that Wasp is doing fine. Ghost will do fine. Uh, Hood would do fine. Pretty much anyone on my team could do this fight. All right, the only reason that I like to use Wasp is because she does a lot of damage and uh, that means a faster fight, all right? But Ghost, same thing. Any high damage champion will make the fight, you know, just go a little bit faster. But this fight is all about playing around those nodes and Thor Ragnarok's ability. Watch that combo meter. See, he's at 17 right now. So that's why I'm gonna do that. Boom, boom. I know how many hits the special is. And so when he's at 17, I'll go in, I'll hit him, fire off the special so that he'll hit 20 combo in the middle of it, but then I'll have a hit or two after it to turn it off. And that is pretty much how you wanna fight this fight. All right, uh, so we're getting down to the end here. Um, sorry, Ghost, this time it was a Wasp show. All right, so. That's going to do it for Act 6.4.2. Uh, take care. Hopefully this helps you guys out when you do your initial clear. Uh, 
feel free to click that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And you all have a blessed day.